Alistair Ryan right, Giggs. Hi. How you doing, mate? Yeah, good, thanks. Excellent, mate. Um, you left May United in the summer after 29 years. What have you been up to? Um, well, doing a bit of TV, uh, doing a bit of travelling, um, visiting other clubs, um, yeah, and just enjoying uh, gap year. Just a gap year for me. Sabbatical, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like to leave United after you know that amount of time? Um, do you know what? It wasn't that strange for me actually. Um, you know, I went and did some TV work at the, in the Euros and just kept myself busy really. But yeah, I mean, there's been the odd occasion where you're sort of uh, twiddling your thumbs and you're thinking, yeah, normally you would just be driving into Carrington like you have done for so many years. And really, it's just missing that day to day, that, that structure of going in, training, or going in and coaching. Um, but no, nah, I've, I've handled it okay. Yeah. Uh, before you left, obviously you were the assistant with Louis Van Gaal. What did you learn off him? I learned a lot. You know, Louis was obviously and has been a world class manager and coach over the, the years. And no, it was just basically that experience and watching someone close at hand who, um, watching the way he works. and. It was different in a lot of respects than, than, than I'm used to, obviously, under Sir Alex for so long. But no, I, I learned how, how to obviously set up a team and different coaching sessions. And like anything, there was, there was bits that you would take and there's bits that you wouldn't. And um, No, it was a really good experience for me. But when he fell over, did the dive, <laughs> were you going, oh, Louis, what have you done? Or were you no, trying, that was, trying to keep it cool? No, I mean, Louis's that sort of character that, um, you know, he, he prefers to stay in the dugout, but you've seen him in training sessions do something which he wants um, He wants to get his point across. And he does it sometimes in unusual ways, and that was... That was, <laughs> that yeah, was unusual, that was, that was That was something... And he's done it before, he's done karate kicks in European, in yeah. European Cup finals. It's not nothing, it's nothing new. I think everyone found it unusual because he, you know, the majority of the season he just sat in the dugout. So when he was in training, he used to bring out all sorts of moves, did he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah <excellent. laughs> Is it really hard to be an assistant manager when he makes a decision and you're like, that's clearly wrong, but he's got the final say, is it, do you have to bite your lip? No, it's not about biting your lip, you know, you put, like, it wasn't just me, there was other coaches, you put your point across and sometimes Louis would uh, go with it, sometimes he wouldn't and that's, obviously he's the manager, he's the boss and once Louis made that decision you just, you, you went for it, even if necessarily you didn't, didn't agree with it, so it, as an assistant, it can be frustrating at times, um, but also it's it's a great job to have because ultimately the pressure isn't on you. But um, if you've got ambitions to be a manager, then um, yeah, it's, um, you you realise it and you're close to, to seeing what it's really like. And you have got ambitions of being a manager. Uh, you've been linked with a few jobs. How close were you to being a Swansea manager? Um, well, I spoke to them, so I was pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> you got, you got <laughs> an they didn't do a room. good job. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was um, no, it was a good experience for me to speak to Swansea, and it just, like I said before, it just wasn't to be. Um, but no, I planned a year out. But I also said that if there was teams that um, you know match my ambitions and the same philosophy and the same way of working, you know, working with the youth system, um, realistic ambitions, um, a well-run club, then. I would speak to them and not only, I don't think a club should also interview you, you should also interview them. If they're not right for you, then you, um, you, know, you should have the right to, to, to turn them down. What is a manager's interview like? Do you sort of walk in, they go, right, do you have a presentation to do? What, what happens in that room when you get, you're going for the job? Well, sometimes it's just a casual chat and then it moves on, it moves on a step, you'll speak again. And then it can be a presentation, it can be you know, PowerPoint presentations, all stuff that you've learned in your... Um, in your coaching badges, you know, your pro licence. It's quite um, relaxed at first, but then if that goes well, then you take it on to the next level. And um, that's something from the Swansea interview I learned a lot. And um, yeah, I think like anything, the more you do things, the better you get. When are we going to see Ryan Giggs being a manager? You know what it's like in football. Um, jobs come and go uh, really quickly. So, um, yeah, I'm ready, yeah. but um, if it has to be next year, then so be it. Cool. You're one of the nicest blokes I've met in football, and I can't imagine you going flip mode and losing it. Have you got an angry switch? Yeah. You haven't, yeah. Look at those eyes. No, it's not about angry, it's about if someone needs telling, you tell them. And I think, you know, being an experienced player, being a captain, 
um, that's something you learn as a player and then um, you you have to learn quite quickly if something needs to be told you, you tell it but it's not all the time it's it's about that balance of whether it's an arm round um, it's an arm around the shoulder or you, you need to tell someone but you will lose your red if needs be yeah okay do you believe me yeah absolutely especially <laughs> <laughs> after that step have you spoke to Sir Alex at all about in your career in management yeah I speak to Sir Alex um, all the time I mean you know obviously uh, such a big influence on, on my life and on my football career that um, why wouldn't you and um, if he sees me linked with with clubs then he'll, he'll um, bring me up and we'll have a chat about it what do you think and no, I'm, I'm, I speak to him more now than when, uh, when we were working together so seriously yeah yeah when you become the Man United manager which I truly think you will if you could only take one of the class of 92 with you who would you take as your assistant oh what a question that is um do I have to answer that? Yeah, yeah, please. I think Nicky, because he's already there. Yeah? Yeah, he's Academy Director, he's always there, it's a natural progression. Yeah. It's a good answer, though. Yeah, it's good. You, got, <laughs> yeah, you, got, you got out of it well, you got out of it well. Look forward to being a manager. Okay. Thanks, Thanks so much, cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers.